account of the life-threatening rip currents along the eastern seaboard. Since Thursday, at least eight people have drowned, and the search for two teens who went missing in rough beach waters in New York on Friday has now been suspended. Tonight, the warnings and safety tips for swimmers as beach season heats up. Here's ABC's Morgan Norwood. Tonight, the National Weather Service warning of life-threatening rip currents up and down the Atlantic and Gulf Coast, where several people have drowned in recent days, dragged out to sea by powerful waters. Beaches on Long Island and New Jersey, all the way down to North Carolina and Florida at high risk, meaning everyone, even strong swimmers, should stay out of the water. The heightened alerts coming as authorities called off the search for two teenage boys, ages 16 and 17, who went missing near Jacob Reese Park in Queens, New York on Friday. <laughs> Emergency responders calling through 600 square miles of rough chop, but still no sign of the boys. The Coast Guard saying in a statement, the decision to suspend a search is always difficult and weighs heavily on all involved. Our crews have conducted an exhaustive search and our thoughts remain with the families during this difficult time. And in Florida, rip currents claiming the lives of five people in just two days, including this Pennsylvania couple who were carried away while swimming with their two children. Tonight, swimmers urged to stay near lifeguards and heat safety advice from beach patrol and flag warning systems. The breaking into the summer season and the timing of the stronger rips this week, I think that may be causing the quote-unquote uh, perfect storm in terms of people not being acclimated for beach uh, rip current season. And Lindsay, experts say if you find yourself caught in a rip current, remember, do not panic. Instead, you want to relax, float, and then swim parallel to the shore until you're free of that rip current. Lindsay? Potentially life-saving tips there, Morgan. Thank you.